Welcome back everyone, so today we are going to deploy our Jenny Art to online. If you follow along my previous video, now this Jenny Art should be running in our local, alright? So let's deploy that online with Railway. The first thing what we need to do is open the VS Code. This is the project that we have already created in my previous video. What you have to do first is you have to push this backend and frontend into the GitHub. So as you can see here, I create a repository called Jenny Art API. This is basically the backend, as you can see the backend stuff. I push that right here. And also for the frontend, basically I push that to the Jenny Art right here. All right. It's pretty simple to create a repository. I know you have, I know you know how to do that. I'm not going to do that again. So let's go back here. Let's go to the railway.app here and you have to create account. You can log in with GitHub. So after you log in, let's go to the dashboard here and create a new project. And we are going to use this deploy from repo, GitHub repo. And I'm going to look looking my, let's say, Genie Art. I'm going to deploy the back end first. I'm going to click this Genie Art API and I'm going to say, Remember in uh, back end here, we have some environment variable. So let's see this port and this open API key. So what we need to do is we should put that into the environment variable. Let's copy this part and go back here. I'm going to add environment. So let's wait for that. So I'm gonna paste the new variable. This is port and the value, it should be 5,500. And also I'm going to copy this open API key. Let's put the add here and new variable. Let's do that here and also the value. I'm gonna copy all of this. Copy that, just make sure to copy all of that and paste that in here, okay? So click add. All right, everything is done and I'm gonna click the deployment here. And as you can see, this is automatically building. As you can see, we don't need to do anything basically. All right, so as you can see, this is done and we can click the settings here. And I have this generated domain. So let's click the generated domain and let's click that. And this is our app back and running basically. As you can see, I'm gonna click that. And for now, it's not, it's not fun. Yeah, the deployment should be live soon. So we still need to wait for that. So as you can see, this is work and we are going to try that into the Postman. Let's go to Postman here. I'm going to copy this URL and let's change this localhost 5500 to this new URL here. And we are going to send. Just remember, you have to put the body, prom and the value here, whatever the value you are going to generate. So as you can see here, we got the value. That's mean it's working. So let's go back here and what we need to do next is we are going to deploy the front end so let's click new here and i'm going to look in my front end it's called genie art okay this one here i'm going to click and as you can see deploying here and let's see i'm going to click that and as you can see this is done we can click this link here and it should be open my app in this url it's pretty cool if i do let's say cute baby I'm gonna click enter. I think it's not gonna be work. That's because we don't yet uh, change the URL, right? So let's see into the network. Oh wait, this is working. Um, let's do that again. And this is basically make a request in the localhost 5500. It's working. That's because we're running this localhost here. If I close that, it's not gonna be work right now. So let's go back and I'm going to click that again. As you can see, this is not working. All right, this is an error here. That's because we should change the URL inside the header here, okay? This is a HTTP. We're going to change that with a new URL. So I'm going to use this URL so you can copy and paste that in here. Just like that, okay? So now we need to boost this changing into my GitHub repo. So I'm gonna close this, just control C. And the next thing you need to change is basically inside a package.json file. Okay, remember this is inside the front end. 
I'm going to add a this star script. And this star script is basically npx http server and then it's looking for this folder. So now what we need to do is let's say git add all. I'm gonna do git commit dash m and let's do things to API URL. Okay, hit enter and I'm gonna say git push origin develop, not develop but main. Alright. You should be push this into my repository in this GitHub. So let's go to GitHub here. Let's go here. And if I refresh, as you can see, it should be have now here. Okay, the change new API URL. So let's take a look in our Jenny art. As you can see, it's failed a few seconds ago. All right, it's done. If you have some problem, you can just restart the server here. All right. So what we need to do is click this new URL and we are going to try this app. So let's say cute baby with red nose. All right. So if I hit enter, it should be half the skeleton loading and then we should have the result. And here we go. It's pretty nice. And yeah, now our app is online. You can share the link in your friend, in your portfolio, anything you want. And that's pretty simple, right? So the last thing I'm going to do is I want to change the title here. So let's go back. I forget that. Let's go to index HTML and I'm going to change this to Jenny art. Let's do Jenny art. So now save and we are going to commit that again. Git add all and git commit. Yes, M. Let's say things the title. So I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to say git push origin main. All right. So after I doing this, it should be automatically redeploy our app inside this railway. So as you can see, I'm going to click that. And as you can see now, it's automatically building. So we don't have to restart the server manually. It should be building automatically. And now everything should be work. All right, as you can see, it is done. And if I click that, and as you can see, the title here, it should be changed. Now it's called Jenny Art. And that's pretty much guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the very next video. Bye.